this is day two of the REI Expo. I am Namrata Gulati Sapra, Deputy Editor at SOAR Energy International. With us is Shubhra Mohanka, Director at Gotham Solar, a leading solar module manufacturer in India. Thank you for joining us. Hi, thanks. So tell us about the recent developments from your firm. Yeah, so I think the recent uh, developments are twofold. Uh, one is from a capacity perspective. So we are doing uh, two gigawatt of uh, manufacturing that we are expanding to now. And the second is from a product perspective. Uh, there we are launching, we have launched N-type Topcon uh, glass to glass panels uh, in this expo. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you know, introducing the N-type Topcon panel, how is that going to impact your firm? Yeah, so I think it's the next step in terms of technological advancement that we have right now done. So the benefit is that uh, in the same size, you are able to get more power than a monoperk firm, a monoperk panel. So what really happens is I think a lot of developers, utility scale, ground mounted projects, where and even, even commercial and uh, industrial rooftops, wherever land is a constraint, there I believe uh, an N-type top one will give you more power in the same land area. And that is the biggest benefit that brings to the table. But what about the costs associated with N-type um, top corn? Yeah, so I am saying that the basically what really happens is that in N-type top corn, the BOS savings are approximately 3% of your cost. So you save the BOS cost. Secondly, your uh, the power that you generate extra is 5%. So I think the cost or uh, differential between N-type and uh, monoperk completely offsets the benefits that it and gives benefits, extra benefits to the developers in terms of more capacity uh, that really happens there. So, could you also tell us about the competing technologies, say P-type, N-type, HJT, and uh, Monoperk, and of course uh, N-type Topcon, and which do you think is going to rule the future? Right. So I think Monoperk was the, basically the most uh, prevalent and the most popular technology till now, and the next one worldwide is N-type Topcon. The benefit that it gives is this: that the size is the same. So you're because you know you're, you only just not you can go to any wattage of a panel. But the handling of the panel is also very important. So what N-Type Topcon really gives you is the same size, more power. HGT is a relatively new technology. You have got less trained manpower on it. The backend suppliers are also limited. In N-Type, because the worldwide the technology is getting so popular that the entire supply chain is in place right now. And that really helps out. But doesn't N-Type uh, turn out to be more uh, costlier when compared to HGT? Uh, yes, it does. But it's all initial days and with solar we have seen that the prices keep coming down, you know, so the, the technology when it comes in the picture, then it is on the higher side. But when it is actually, uh, uh, when it actually comes into scale and which is really happening with N-Type right now, the prices automatically start coming down. And also we see Gotham, uh, Gotham Solar has been proactively marketing, you know, we see these big banners and pictures and everything. So are you, uh, you know, set, have you, are you setting your sights more on the CNI sector and uh, the residential segment? So uh, frankly, uh, we are a uh, solar module manufacturer and that is our ambition uh, to be a solar module manufacturer. What we are really doing with those marketing is educating our end users about Gotham Solar Panels. Because let's say any residential person or any commercial industrial person, when he takes a decision, he should know that the panel decision, solar panel decision he has to take is going to be as important as a person that he's going to finalize for solar power plant. So it could be any system integrator or EPC that he'll be finalizing the order with. But he should be looking at a Gotham solar panel. It's like an Intel inside for a laptop. That when you go there, you see that chip is Intel inside or not. Or a jeans, you say a Lycra is there or not. Or a TMT Sarya bar is there in your building or not. So we are not looking at the complete entire end-to-end -end solutions. We are looking, we are focusing only on solar modules, providing the best technology. But we want to educate the end users when that when they are putting up a solar power plant, they should know what's going inside that solar panel. It's the most important component. So they should know what is going inside. Yeah. Also, you have a huge presence in Uttarakhand and the northern side of India. So how do you see your uh, mar uh, competitive market in that uh, in that uh, in those areas? Yeah. So Gautam Solar, though it is based uh, the manufacturing facilities in Uttarakhand, we are the largest. North Indian manufacturer, but uh, we still we are supplying Pan India. In fact, so West and South are very strong markets for us uh, be, because as a market industry, also it's, in fact the uh, the size of the market is much larger there. So we are a Pan India player per se, and in North India we are the largest. So we are and, and so we are able to give that benefit of transportation and warehousing in North India also. Tell us about your export markets. Yeah, I think we are keenly looking at US. Uh, because uh, there are uh, in the IRA, the, uh, the there are non-Chinese, there are 
you know uh, barriers for chinese manufacturers so indian solar model manufacturers have a great uh, chance at establishing a good brand there uh, i think we have a as fair a chance as an it industry we are going to be the next it industry in terms of exports but also with the coming of the inflation reduction act uh, you know the capacities are going to go up you know on a really really high level in the next 2 to 2 to 3 years and it is being held that usa will be domestically you know very relevant and yeah. sufficient so how will that impact the indian players see i believe whoever will works going to work in india whoever gets a market in us he will definitely establish a manufacturing facility in us if the act so says per se yeah. so if you look at any it industry the way they work they first started body shopping when they were sending people from here or doing work here and then exporting the stuff there slowly they became so big because the market is there yeah. then you do all the things which are necessary to address that market right. if it means establishing a manufacturing facility in us yeah. then we'll definitely do it an indian manufacturer just needs a market to do it right. if today i am making in haryana uh, haridwar gujarat tomorrow i can make it in georgia i have to go out i can do that it's all about the market so if the market is there i am sure that all indian manufacturer definitely talking about us will definitely go and invest in us and also finally tell us about your future plans with the reference to uh, expansion new upcoming facilities augmentation of capacities in the next yeah. two to so as i uh, earlier said we have a capacity to we have a plan to double our capacity uh, in this calendar year and uh, so we are like, we are we are, we are we are at 1 gigawatt right now we're doubling it to 2 gigawatt and uh, that is i think uh, that is going to be our plans and it's mostly going to be n type topcon that will be doing that thank you so much for joining us thank you